Hey guys, so I'm in a little bit of a developer burnout right now, so I don't want to build anything, but because of that, I think it's a good time to do some algorithms. So let's just switch back to screencast mode. And this is my repo for algorithms. Um, I think every developer should have one. Uh, so today we're just going to go into the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, specifically closure since that's the focus the language I'm focusing on currently and it's this is the Fibonacci sequence is basically the first algorithm that you learn to to learn recursion which is good because closure does it really well um, because it's the functional way to do loops uh, because you're not mutating the index of an of an array or anything so if you don't know um, Fibonacci sequence is just a uh, 0, 1, 1, and then you, you keep adding the previous number to the number before that, and the sequence is infinite, and then you get all these interesting pictures like this one. So it goes 1, 1, 2, or 3, 5, whatever, 8, 13, and uh, yeah. So let's just go into our thing. And I'm just going to use Light again to make a new app. And I guess I'll call it Fib. Um, do, 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 do. Let's cd into it. And code dot. And let's switch around the. Which one am I in? Oh, yeah, cool. Um, boop, boop. And I uh, also need to make sure I don't cover my face, so let's do that. And do, do. I think that's the right size. Okay. And I'm gonna start the ripple. Then while that's going, oh, actually, I need to connect. So there we go. All right. Whoops, the wrong button. Um, so, yeah, REPL stuff, main, cool, it's working. Alright, um, let's see. So, let's go back to the reference. Uh, so, this is the, my original, uh, uh, the entry of it, which is not very, um, declarative, as you can see. Uh, there's this big mess here that you can't really tell what's going on. So I'm going to break it up so it's a little more, um, what's the word? Uh, it'll make more sense, I guess, is the right word. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is um, basically this thing. It makes sense of what this, this function is actually doing. And what that function is doing is it's actually uh, building the the list, so I call it build fib. My other thing, and it takes in one argument, which is just a list. So what was it? Conj x. So this first part here uh, is incrementing the last value or no this is getting the last value from the list and we're gonna use the plus operator to add two different values the the second one is gonna be okay counts x2 so this is the last value and this is the second to last value and then we'll add them together, and conj will append it to the end of the list. So if we save, jump into REPL, and do build fib, and we're going to send in the, the first two values of a Fibonacci sequence, 0 and 1. We'll get 0, 1, 1, which makes sense, because 1 plus 0 is 1, and that's how you get the, last, the next last value. Oops. So if we do it for 0, 1, 1, 
This will get us the list of the next last value, which will be two. And once again, it'll go on. And now we just need a function to use build fib. So we're gonna make another function here. And this one I'm just gonna call fib for Fibonacci. And we're gonna use um, the closure arity. So if we take in one uh, argument, and the one argument being a number. Uh, we're just gonna call fib again with the first two um, indexes of the Fibonacci sequence and with the second argument of the number. So the second arity oh, wow. up is gonna take in two arguments. The Fibonacci list, as well as the number, and we're gonna put in a if block to check if the count of the fib list is less than or equal to the number, because um, the the way it works is that this is the zero index, this is the first index, second and third and so on so if we want to get the 15th index of a Fibonacci sequence we would send in uh, 15 to the entire thing so let's see this is where our if statement closes so let's see so we want to add another thing here so if if this if block tests for true we're gonna just send in um, we're gonna recursively call fib where the first argument is build lib and the second argument is the number uh, and then if it tests false we'll just send it or we'll just return um, was it the Fibonacci list so if all goes well, wrong button, uh, and we call fib on 15, we should get a list of uh, the list up to the 15th value in the Fibonacci sequence, and we don't, because I bet you it's wrong placement of stuff, so let's see, oh, here it is. I uh, forgot to add a argument to build lib. So let's try that again. Du, 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 du. Nope. Hmm. Let's check. Number list. I'm going to get rid of this so I can read it. Do, 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 do. That looks good. Fibonacci list. Num. All right, I'm using the right things. This if block is correct, I believe. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Ba, 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 hmm. All right, let's just step through it. Counts zero one that works fine. Count oops, this is going to be zero one and which is true, which should go into this thing. Hmm. Build lib. Build. Oh. Oh, these typos. There we go. There we go. So, it was a typo. So, next, um, we could also optimize this by instead of recalling the function, we could just use recur. 
Um, it's noted that you can't change this one to recur because it's only supposed to be in the last block of a of a recursive function, if I remember correctly. Um, if I'm wrong, uh, let me know. I closure is still new to me. And then finally, the last thing we want to do is get make sure we get the last Fibonacci number instead of this long list because we're only interested in the last one. So we're going to make another function called the Fibonacci number, which takes in a number. And we're just going to get the last one. So we're going to call fib on that number, which gives us a list or a vector. Yeah, this is a vector. And then we're going to get the very last uh, thing in that vector, and which is going to be what's returned. So if we rerun, if we use, re, uh, if we reuse 15, we should get 610 out of it. So if we do fib num 15, we get 610. And then now we can just play around with the numbers. Um, let's go with 25. And of course, it will get pretty out of hand if we go too high. So I think 50 is going to be pretty high. 500 is going to be ridiculous. Yeah, it's too, an integer overflow. So yeah, you can play around with it. But this is the basic algorithm for recursive Fibonacci sequence in Clojure. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I will feel like doing more app development in the future and make more videos for you. So, yep, I'll see you guys next time.